What's next? You meet Soldier Boy so, later? What, what happens? I mean, I met Soldier Boy around like when I first popped off. Okay. Like that was just one of the like when people don't know when you blowing up like when you like the new dude on the scene and you blowing up everybody reaches out to you, like everybody because like it's beneficial for them at that point. You know what I'm saying? Like you hot, sure. new deal. Like they know if they work with you, they gonna get like some exposure and like you. They know you got money behind you too. You know what I'm saying? I feel yeah. like the I feel like the reason why like really popular artists and like super famous pop artists, they don't really want to work with like upcoming artists who don't got a buzz or nothing because it's not beneficial for them. Like, yeah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like at least have some money behind you, even if a, even if a, do the feature for free. Like if somebody were to do a feature with you for free, like at least. Cause like then it's a waste of a feature. Like if you ain't gonna do nothing with it, yeah. And like that's how you feel me. So I feel like so yeah. Soldier Boy was just one of the first people that like reached out to me, and he just said like I see you keep working. Yeah, I, I mean, you kind of did you end up signing to him? I, I'm, I didn't know. Nah, uh, so like later on, like probably like last year or two years ago, uh, bro was just like I was type a little up and bro was just like bro just handed me like a little alley you know oh for sure for sure and that was really that oh okay for sure for sure never was no paperwork nah we was just working off a handshake okay okay for yeah. sure yeah so are y'all all good terms right now you nah, yeah, we on good, hell yeah we on good terms i always I, got mad love and respect for him like so I mean, yeah y'all had got into it for a little bit huh we ain't never get into it oh okay Okay, I thought I seen something like y'all had little issues. Ah, I, I didn't see that. For sure, send, that's send all... me that because yeah. maybe that's maybe that's just a blog like assuming like I ne- we never had no issue. Oh, so it's all love for soldier. You respect soldier. Hell yeah, yeah. So, sure. okay, so what's up with you calling out Zoe Dollars? You and Zoe Dollars still beefing? Nah, me and Zoe Dollars is cool. We talk, we talk sometimes. Like that bro be Facetime me when I'm in Miami, like. We link and shit like that. Zoe, cool. Nah, that was just me being a kid. I was just, like, upset. I really took my emotions out on the world instead of just, like, dealing with them, like, you know, like, a professional way. So I just used to have random outbursts and just say random crazy for, like, really no reason. Yeah. So I mean, Okay, so you and Zoe Dollar straight. What up with you and the Island Boys? The Island Boys, I just think, like, they corny. <laughs> like I just think they corny like you know beefing with people like just beefing with people for no reason to like get posted and like shit like that like I just feel like that shit is lame and like that burns a lot of bridges too cause like a motherfucker that don't know you like if somebody don't know you and like they see some goofy like yo that's what I learned in the world like uh, first impressions are everything like once somebody views you a certain way, it's very hard for them to unview you that way. So I just feel like when you uh like when you just beef with people and like to the people who don't have an opinion of opinion about you, I feel like it goes like fifty fifty. Like there's fifty percent people that already view you one way and then there's a fifty percent of people that don't have an opinion about you. So I feel like when you do weird, goofy that 50% probably becomes like 20%. Because now it's like, for these people who hadn't discovered you yet or hadn't known like who you are or whatever, you just did some mad corny goofy shit. Now they think you corny as hell. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's up with you and Almighty J? Y'all on good terms or no? Nah, it's still up. Nah, well, it's not up, but like, I don't, I don't, nah, I don't rock with him. What, 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 what's up with the allegations he's saying that you snitching bro, on him cat, to the bro, crowd? Because Bro, that's cap because one, I never did that. Like what? And two, that says that because I put a, uh, you know when you like he's I let that sleep in my crib at the time. Like he was up, like just got dropped from his deal. Cause like we was cool cause we knew like certain people. In, but um, he was like, yo, they just dropped me from my deal. Blah blah blah. So like, yo, let me come crash with you or some shit like that. We had went to the studio and. Shit. And then, like, that just stole mad. Like, stole some money, stole some clothes, stole some jewelry. Like, the same with the kidnapping. Like, he ain't never take nothing from me. Like, he just did some snake, like, some backdoor. And then, and then when I found out that my was missing, 
I put a police report so I can get my insurance money. And then that's why he says I snitched. Yeah, okay. He so, never went to jail. There's mad articles showing, like, I never cooperated or nothing like that. Like, so that was just capped because at the time, I was dealing with snitching allegations. So it was very easy for, like, like once somebody, like, once, once you got, like, some type of shit to your name, like, everybody else will just try to put something on you that's very similar to what you got in your name already. You get what I'm saying? So, like... Uh, to make a to make a, a narrative stick. No, no, you know what I hate you on like that. So, uh, did that have anything to do with the setup at the Hibachi restaurant getting set up uh, on Marty Jack? So. No, hell, hell no, hell no. That okay. was just some cherry. That was just some cloud chases, bro. Like just trying to capitalize off some. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. That was okay. Just some cloud yeah, man, because we see, you know, you know, you be getting in some little shit out here, man. We be because, out understand. because, bro, I like, I feel like a lot of people like stay inside, but like, I like to go outside, like, and I don't mean that on like some like super gangster shit. I just like to go outside. So like, at the time, like, I never realized like how famous, I guess you could say, I feel that shit sounds so corny to say, but like how famous I was. So like, They'll see me and like, oh, that's really him. You know what I'm saying? Some would be starstruck. Some would be like, oh, like let's try to come up and like that. So yeah. I just, I just like to go outside. So because uh, they say you punched a fan for calling you a snitch. Yeah. Okay. Allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. Okay. Okay, man. Yeah, man. If you in the building right now, make sure y'all picking up, sharing the room, skinny from the nines in the.